Hello, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 roleplay as Duchess Ida, the plane of Schwabia, or Schwaben, sorry, and Swabia in English. Uh, I'm going to unpause and I'm also, simultaneously, I'm going to lower the speed a little bit and have a look at some things to invest our gold into because we have 600 gold. British Aquilorani. Okay, yeah, so that's uh, that's the war happening right there. Uh, my Chancellor, Count Heinrich, has uh, improved relations with Count Emich. I mean, he's a child, so that shouldn't take too much. Alright, let's see. Uh, so, I think, uh, usually, early on, the largest, uh, or the best investment, in my opinion, is to keep. It's quite expensive, so uh, you can get, you, like, you can knock that out of the way when you have money to spare and, you know, you're in peacetime and stuff. It also takes a long time, but it does uh, add percentage increases, and uh, those will stack with pretty much everything else you uh, you add. Like, um... Our alliance has been dissolved because he died under suspicious circumstances. Uh, what the fuck? This game literally does not want to give me any rest. Uh, let's see. Well, we have an open council position. Let's uh, put... Um, oh, Eric, uh, the court, court uh, tutor, is actually pretty good. And now we need another husband. We have one child by Count Otto. Who, you know, surprisingly turned out quite well, despite being the son of a woman who is married to... Um... Like a niece, was it? Or, sorry, a, um, a cousin. Well, let's see. Uh, we should marry... Matrilineal, of course. We should marry... No, we're not going to marry Emich, the other guy who we just improved relations with. Uh, he's also way too young. We'll go for uh, Ludolf, the Prince of Germany. This guy looks good. He's of uh, House Ludolf uh, Finger. Uh, Ludofinger, sorry. Ludolf is, like, the name, and then Inger is, like, from that... Uh, that, um... Or off Ludolf, whatever, but uh, it sounds like Littlefinger, obviously, because uh, yeah, we all watch Game of Thrones, or at least most of us. Okay, I'm gonna send a uh, send the marriage uh, proposal to him. I did I right? Yeah, I did. Cool. So uh, King Otto has approved, and uh, I'm getting married to Prince Littlefinger. Now he. Is the son of whom? Oh god, he is the second son of King Otto. What the fuck? Okay, hang, hold on here. Wait, we need we need to have a talk here. So we need to look at our traits. We are brave, we're temperate, we're, we're drunkard, and we're rash. We're also an amateurish plotter. We're not ambitious, so maybe she wouldn't, but uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking something along these lines. Obviously not yet, we aren't uh, quite yet powerful enough. But I think we should kill the prince, and... Then he will be the heir, right? He'll become king. And then his sons... Will be of our dynasty, which will then inherit the kingdom of Germany. That might be a long-term plan if um, if Duchess Ida A survives all her horrible circumstances, of course, and also perhaps um, gains a trait or two that would justify such an action. As of now, I will not do it because this is a roleplay series, and we're we're trying to play our character out to their you know their uh, their um, traits and whatnot. Let's see. We can join a couple of holy orders here. Someone did suggest that in the comments. The Dominican Order, which um, well, let's have a look at these guys. Um, which one is which? So the Bene Benedictine uh, or Benedictine order is the um, uh, prayer and labor. Okay, so that's the kind of like conservative. Uh, you know, uh, ascetic order, I guess, like, um, quite complication as well as scholarly work, yep, and the Dominican order is, uh, 
Oh, this is like the, yeah, this is the Inquisition one. This is the kind of like, yeah, fundamentalist, um, scary one, spooky one. Charged with a mission to identify heretics, as lay members of the Order, you are expected to uh, not pursue material wealth, but strive to be a seeker of truth. Out of these, I think we'll go for the Benedictine Order. That seems like the best one. We're delighted to join, uh, of, by your decision to join our ranks as a lay member, Duchess. Together we shall strive for the betterment of ourselves and our fellow Catholics by following the rule of Saint Benedict. So we donate 12 gold. And are now a member of the order. Okay, I've sent for my um, court physician, Wilhelm. He suggests my symptom is not due to a serious illness and that it will pass quite soon. Nevertheless, you will receive some mild treatment. Oh, cool. Uh, decent symptom treatment. That's good. So he's saying it's just a normal rash, nothing else. Nothing more. God, I hope you're right, Willem. Otherwise, I'll have to play a child again. And in a roleplay series, that becomes very, uh, very, very complicated. Once uh, a bunch of mods get updated, I am planning also on doing a roleplay series of Stellaris, because I quite enjoy the roleplay in that. Where, you know, you play out your, um, your nation to the air... Uh, where you believe your uh, like your nation's ideals and stuff would uphold or be upheld and stuff, and uh, I enjoy the um, the stories you create. Also, I gotta say, because uh, uh, there might not be a completely shared audience with Crusader Kings and Hearts Line Four, uh, I do occasionally mute my microphone just to have a sip of water because. Uh, I believe I might have laryngitis. I have some sort of like throat thing that's go been going on for a couple of weeks now. And I'm heading to the doctors for it, but for the like for the moment, I'm just uh, drinking a lot of fluids while recording so that I can, you know, keep doing this. The Lords of Germany have approved the institution of the tax shifted burger ob Quite a mouthful. So that shifts, uh, shifts us uh, further away from uh, levies and further towards taxes. That also like becomes a part of the centralization that happens in Europe, in uh, like historically, basically. Uh, all over the... Oh, I'm surely with child. My husband will be pleased. So with my new husband, Prince Ludolf, we now have a child. Or we will... Possibly do have a child. Oh, we'll possibly have a child. Uh, should I become humble or should I get sex appeal? I see no ga like no, no reason to get sex appeal. Honestly, I'll uh, try to become humble, and I am. According to Chancellor Heinrich, the peasants of Ulm have started a delightful tradition where the peasantry from several villages meet up and dance, feast, and pair for future marriage. By promoting this tradition, Heinrich believes that the count uh, county will develop a strong local culture that will attract more peasants. So, I hate this guy because... Forgive me, it's been a few days since I last played. I hate him because... Let me check. He hasn't killed anyone. Has he? No, he has, right? Oh, hold on. No, so I made him a special interest because I fucking hate this guy's guts, but I actually forgot why. You know what? This is the time, or this is why you have post-it notes. So I'm making a note right now saying, figure out why the fuck I hate Count Heinrich of Breisgau. Which, you know, I can do by just watching a previous video. That's kind of a... Uh, the amazing part of doing this, I have everything documented, but I'm going to write that down. Whatever uh, was left of your rash is no longer visible. Okay, so he was actually, uh, he was actually correct. Thank you, Villal.
Okay, so we are now in the... So deep in the pregnancy that we have a regent. It is my husband who keeps uh, changing his appearance constantly. But yeah, uh, I'm uh, going to look up that uh, Heinrich thing. Um, I very sincerely apologize for not remembering. Uh, I kind of... I wanted to record more of these videos in bulk and release them every other day, but um, my voice just generally has not permit permitted me to do A daughter was born to Duchess Ida the Plain and Prince Ludolf of Germany, named Barbara. Let's uh, see what our alternatives here are. Ingertrude, Elizabeth, Katharina, I like Katharina. Let's do a uh, Katharina. That's a strong queen-like name, which uh, no doubt we will need because our first heir will of course die to some sort of stupid, uh, like, very silly circumstances because that's what this game does and I love it for it. King Otto the Oppressors, oh my god, he's even got a fucking title now. He's so tyrannical and such an asshole that he's got a title. My father-in-law, King Otto the Oppressor. May I have an alliance? No, I cannot. Uh, Katharina sleeps safely in my arms. She looks so sweet and innocent. The first days after the pregnancy was over... I could not be parted from her, but I am starting to feel the weight of my responsibilities as Duchess pulling me away from her. Um, I mean, of course I'll breastfeed the child. With my, you know, alcohol milk. Dude, we need to stop this drunkenness. I can't be a drunkard and have children. Honestly, this should, uh, this trait, as horrible as it is, should, you know, mess up the children. I feel like, at least. Who should designate a better regent? Obviously not Heinrich, because I hate him. Why does he hate me? We're rivals, of course. Female ruler, domain too, too big, opinion of predecessor, and attraction to drunkard, yeah. Why? No, not Waldo. Uh, do we have anyone who is loyal to us, who we have a past relationship to? I'll do Eric, because he is uh, hes a loyal person who does not have any titles and will probably not scheme too much. God's blessings upon thee, Donatus Ida. The Order and God cares much uh, for the souls of our members. As such, we would like to advise you to go on a pilgrimage, since you have not yet done so. I just had a child, dude. Please. Go with God. Very well, I will go on a pilgrimage. So that is a... yeah, that's an intrigue option. 9.5 gold, not too much. I shall go on a pilgrimage to see God's grace at one of the holy places of Christianity. I will start making travel plans. There are a number of different holy places that you should, uh, could visit on your pilgrimage. All of them are considered most sacred by the Holy Church. But a somewhat closer destination might mean a safer journey. So, uh, I could go somewhere in the west, or I could go to an ancient site like Jer Jerusalem or Rome. Rome is not actually that far away, but it is a treacherous journey considering we do need to cross the Alps. Or I could uh, seek out a saintly burial site. I'll go to an ancient site and I'll go to Rome. While uh, visiting uh, Jerusalem or, for example, um, is it Santiago? The, those holy sites probably is not the worst, but uh, I don't think it's that advisable for a woman who already has some sort of health issue here uh, to head that in that direction, and especially not when we don't have a secured inheritance yet. And by secured, I mean a son who is... Why is he in seclusion? Uh, but by secured, I mean a son who is of age. But seriously, why is he in, in, in uh, seclusion? Where is he even? Why the fuck is he in Marburg? <laughs> 
Oh, okay, so I think... Oh, so he was the heir to Marburg, so he's been just... Yeah, he, he got yeeted o over to Marburg because he, the uh, his father, which, you know, was the Count of Marburg or whatever, died. At the flood, there have been strong uh, rains in the area lately, and the valley that you need to cross has been transformed into a sizable lake. The water is still rising, so you start to build a large raft in order to cross. When you're almost finished building it, a group of farmers show up and explain that they also need to cross the valley in order to- or sorry, they also need to cross the valley in order to be, uh, get back to their homes. They bring with them a number of animals that they rescued from the flood. So I could become charitable, I could become arbitrary, or I could become... I could get nothing there. Huh. The way I'm reading this, Duchess Ida, uh, she will become charitable, I think. She already got involved in a religious order, she's not gonna, like, just suddenly become an asshole. Rome. You have finally arrived at Rome. As you enter the Eternal City, you are struck by the many ancient buildings and monuments that you pass by. It is truly impressive. And you try to imagine how the Apostles felt when they first came here on their holy mission at a time when the city's power was... Though large areas seem to be depopulated, the city still boasts an impressive population concentrated around the Tiber River. The holy sites you want to visit are primarily the Basilicas of St. Peter and St. Paul as well as other early churches and places connected to the martyrs. You start making your way to the center of the city, hoping that you don't get lost in the traffic as the crowds start to get more dense. A thousand roads leads men forever to Rome. No, I must control myself. I will not go to the tavern. Maybe we can get rid of a uh, drunk there. In fact, maybe I should have just gone because she is a drunkard. I think I only got that one because I'm a drunkard though. And I'm thinking since she's temperate, she would try to moderate herself. You have finally returned from your pilgrimage. It was a re rewarding and interesting journey and you'd do it all again if you could. Still, it's good to be back home. Okay, cool. And we got 300 devotion. Can we do anything with that? Our wards have a chance to gain increased attribute points during their education and upon reaching adulthood have, ch <coughs> Sorry, have a chance to lose wicked traits and gain pious ones. King Otto doing all kinds of weird shit here. We do have a plague ra uh, ravaging Central Europe here. It is smallpox. That is an actual real plague. The defensive pact opposing Otto Ludelfinger has been disbanded. Because Otto Ludelfinger is dead. Fuck, there goes our plan. He died scratching skin bloody. He had smallpox. Yep, there goes our plan. Oh well. That's fine. It was our plan, not Ida's plan yet, so... The Lords of Germany have approved the institution of the Ruler War Declaration Sovereignty Law. Okay, that's uh, gonna probably result in a lot of more wars. Uh, so now our king is King Ottokar, the Dagger of Germany. Ottokarin. Oh, of course, uh, Germany is a, an elective monarchy, so it wouldn't even matter. Religious council is discontent. Well, let us uh, nominate a successor and let us let it uh, let it be someone of our dynasty, I suppose. Ludolf. Thinking nobody's gonna vote for him. We're not gonna play the Game of Thrones uh, here uh, in terms of uh, trying to get people elected to the throne. Currently, our concerns are mostly about Swabia. 
Speaking of which, we should probably build a hospital, considering there is smallpox raging. It does seem to be dying down, though. Epidemics come in waves as they uh, kill off possible, um, like the people that can uh, they can bear the disease, and the ones who survive become resistant. So, once an epidemic uh, sort of washes through a city and infects mostly everyone, the ones who are left will not be infected again. So, basically, epidemics will come and then they will go. Some basic epidemiology there. I did a, uh, a course on the history of epidemics, uh, but that was quite a while ago. I'm not quite sure if I remember all of it. One fascinating thing I learned, which I'm sure a lot of people have learned from clickbait headlines uh, recently, is that uh, the Black Death is obviously still alive and kicking. Uh, and uh, it is alive in uh, somewhere over here where it possibly originated from, like in Mongolia and stuff, and also in the western United States, being carried by stuff like prairie dogs. I received a letter from a fellow member of the Benedictine Order, Albu. Dear Sister Ida, will you, as a Christian scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry? Or the attempt of it? Reading through the attached documents, there are multiple verses all in honor of God. His diplomacy is good, his learning is good. Oh, but it's bad. He's stubborn. Um... I'm missing the more comforting as aspects of faith. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions if the proper leverage is obtained. I will obligate him. A lot of these uh, events will repeat, and later on, as they start repeating, I'll just click them. Okay, so they want a donation. Sure, we'll donate to charity. And Guntram of Nordgau got upset that we tried to uh, obligate him. Oh, he's of the ruling house, isn't he? Where where even are they? No, he's not. Ottokar and... and that was something else like... I don't know, I didn't see it. Ottokar of Ottokaren. The dagger. What a name. Heinrich is the heir, though. So that's the actual, uh, the son of uh, Otto, is, uh, or sorry, uh, Otto, isn't it? No, it's not. It's the uh, son of King Heinrich the Fowler. Also Liedelfinger. Looks like the Liedelfingers have their, uh, you know, fingers in the throne quite deep. King Haraldr of Denmark accepted King Ottokar's uh, peace officer. Officer, sorry. Officer? What the fuck? Um, that's a cool helmet he's got. That's not a, uh, that's not a Viking helmet. That is in a, a, um, a sort of, um, Anglo-Saxon helmet, I believe. Like a Norman helmet, maybe, actually? Common in this region. Uh, around this time, I believe, and before. But this specific helmet, I think, is based on a real helmet. Because it does have those, like, eyebrows. And it does look like it's made of gold, or uh, some other sort of shiny, precious metal. I was beginning to think that Albu took offense to my my comments, uh, but today I've received a new draft of his work. I'm surprised to find that his words really spoke to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out, I implore you, sister, bear with me, it is not finished. I like it, and I will publish it. No. No, it's- no, I should not. It's not finished, he will get upset with me. That would be very rude. I'm flattered that you think the Benedictine Order could benefit from my work. Thank you for your support, sister. He continues before assuring me of finishing the touches, uh, or the assuring me of the finishing touches he intends to see before the final version of the manuscript will enter the library. 
Cool, we got a friendship going on. Uh, Wolf said Wolfgang as commander. Oh, I've only heard of King Ortegar's pending coronation after the news spread across the realm. It seems that the king has organized a very secluded ceremony for his con uh, coronation, granting invitations only to his most inner circle of advisors. You motherfucker. Bertold will make an excellent... I, I mean, his mustache would, but... No, I will not take him. Otokar Otokaran has been crowned by King Pope... Or, uh, crowned king by Pope Hadrianus IV. King Lothair, and there we go, Pope Hadrianus IV. I guess I'll have to make Bertold a commander then. A marshal has discovered a man of great military talent, or not, called Ulrich. Uh, I mean, he's better. He also has a nice mustache. He's only better by a little bit. Oh, okay, so... Here we can become honest or deceitful. Now... I think maybe we should become deceitful. We're quite a nice person, but uh, to go too hard on the niceties would kind of... Um, would be a bit too, uh, like... A bit too, um, I guess, um, power playing, I guess. Like, uh, Duchess Ida needs flaws. She's got drunkard, which is a pretty big flaw, but she also needs to have some sort of, like, some edge to her. I think she will become deceitful. She is a schemer, so... She's now deceitful. character has a manipulative and dishonest nature, an excellent trait for spy masters, as long as they remain loyal. To the most excellent Duchess Ida, blessings upon you and your house. We would like you to back our plot to kill King Otokar the Dagger. That is the wife of the previous, or the wife of his, uh... Sorry, that is the wife of, uh, the father of, uh, King Otto. And Bertold has become better, cool. How big is this plot? Either way, I think we should accept, because uh, anyone who's a, who is a king and who isn't us is a problem. And also, he did not accept- uh, sorry, he did not invite us to his coronation, so I feel as if he is purposefully trying to alienate me. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from uh, associating wing- uh, so, ah, I can't even fucking speak, dude. From associating with conspiratorial factions of the property. Yep, it's that one. Uh, yes, Bertold, I gave you a station, please. I obligate you. Small gathering of friends. Yes, sure, I will come. It's a Prince Bishop of, uh, of Chur. Who was... He was the uh, guy I appointed as... Uh, I didn't actually appoint him, Waldo. Uh, we need a Master of the Hunt. Uh, I think we should do... Okay, so he's been discouraged. I'm going to reward him by uh, making him the master of hunt, uh, the uh, master of the hunt, and my cup bearer will be. Emich already likes us. Guntram will be our cup bearer. He's brave, he's kind, he's honest, he's zealous, and he's wroth. If I know them to be deceitful, I will not make them cup bearer. Even though you know gameplay wise, it doesn't matter, but my character would not. May you live in harmony, we would like you to back our plot to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Canton. I don't want to get involved in that stuff. Okay, we're now carousing with a priest. 
These days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time. It brings me closer to my companions. I feel like good friends already. You're my best friend, Prince, uh, Bishop Waldo. And Heinrich has come out of, it, of hiding. I'm not quite sure why he was in hiding. He's got an infect infected wound though. He might be dying. Maybe now would be the time to do this. Either way, we're at the end of the video, so we won't. I will be looking up why I hate that guy, and then I will make uh, decisions accordingly next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to uh, reach out to me on social media, you can do so using the links in the description for Twitter, or you can go to our Discord community in the Discord link down below, or you could follow me, if you would like, on Twitch, where in the future I will be doing... Uh, live streams where I can do a lot of live chat interaction, which I will be looking very much forward to. Also, if you'd like to support me, you can buy Crusader Kings 2 or its accompanying DLC using a humble bundle link in the description down below. I will get a small kickback, and you will also be buying from a very ethical res uh, sorry retailer, almost a researcher retailer, uh, who also does give to charity whenever you buy from them. Uh, other than that, you could also support me directly, but you will get nothing from it really, but you can go to my Patreon link in the description down below if you'd like to give something there. And that is about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.